It's a really exciting day for me today because this evening I'm getting ready to welcome an extra 20,000 residents to the Donkey Sanctuary. I'm travelling a few miles down the road to meet local farmer Alan Emmett. But before I meet our new residents, I'll need to take one or two extra precautions. So I've come out here tonight to collect our first ever colony of honeybees and we're going to transfer them into this hive, take them back and get them settled in. Alan transfers the colony of bees from his hive into the hive that we've got for the sanctuary. The brood frames, which contain the queen, most of the workers, all the young grubs, larvae, eggs and finished cells, that gets put into the brood box of the new hive and Alan checks each one looking for the queen to make sure she's definitely going in and she's identified by a big red dot on her thorax. Then we know that the colony is complete. The last few frames are transferred by Alan and these are the ones that contain the honey which will be a ready-made energy store for the first few days in their new location. The benefits of buying an old established colony like this is the queen knows what she's doing and you're getting everything, it's a complete bee kit. In 20 days time we could have another 2,000 bees flying out of this hive so it's ready-made to get up and go straight away. So it's all strapped up, it's safely secured in the back of the truck and now it's a short trip back to Donkey Sanctuary HQ. had the hive resting here for a short while just allowing them to settle down after transportation and now we're going to take out the front door and let them see their new home just in case and you're a little bit angry so these guys should be ready to just settle down for the night have a bit of a sleep before heading off in the morning and collecting nectar from this new location and there's so much around, they'll be feeding not only in the meadows around here, but also in the hedgerows, on bramble and ivy, in the woodlands here, and also in the Donkey Sanctuary Gardens just nearby. And they'll be collecting all that nectar over the next few months, creating the store in here of energy supplies to get them through the winter, so that they're ready to come out next summer and start producing honey for you and me. There, all of them back in the hive, not one has flown off, so I'd say they're pretty happy in their new home with their new neighbours. <laughs> 